What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. Selection mode tool, trim edit mode tool, dynamic trim mode tool, and blade edit mode tool. This tutorial is based in DaVinci Resolve version 15. To open up a new video file, go to File, Import File, and Import Media. I've selected an MP4 file from one of my folders, and will left click and drag this down to the timeline. Holding your push down left mouse button over the timeline should reveal the blue line representing the video and the green line representing the audio for the same clip. Drag to the left so that the start of the video is at the zero second mark. For the first part of this tutorial, we will look at blade edit mode. What I wish to do is to cut the video clip at the 3 second mark. With the red indicator at the start of the video file, I'm going to hold in K and tap L repeatedly. And you can see that I'm progressing along the timeline. The red indicator can be moved manually by left clicking, holding the mouse button down and dragging it over the timeline, regardless of what tool you have selected already, the selector mode tool or any of the trim tools. Keep tapping L until you are at the point where you want to be. Here I'm at the three second mark to move back. Tap J. Let go of K when you're in the position that you want to be. With the blade edit mode selected as indicated by the red highlight here, Drag to the red indicator on your timeline. Keep an eye on the time which appears when the blade edit mode icon appears on the actual video clip section itself. I can see clearly in two places that I'm at the three second mark. Left click once and a cut is made. The zero to three second part of my whole video clip is as follows. I'm now going to repeat the same with the 5 second point up to the 7 second mark to create a new edited segment. The 5 to 7 second section of my video goes like this. Select your trim edit mode. I'm at the 5 second mark still of my video clip just where I've made the two recent cuts. I'm going to zoom in to make the video clip more visible. Dragging the mouse cursor over the timeline with the trim edit mode selected, you can see that the mouse cursor symbol changes depending if you're high up or further down on the blue rectangle. Ensure that you've left clicked once on the actual video edit that you wish to alter. The top symbol with the two triangle symbols inside the rectangle means slipping. And the second symbol which appears on your mouse cursor as you drag to the bottom half of your blue video line with an arrowhead either side of some squared brackets means sliding. At the start of this video clip you can see that the dog is entering the room. What if you wanted in this highlighted section here, beginning at the 5 second mark, to show what we previously saw at the 0 second mark when the dog was coming into the room from the opposite direction? With your trim edit mode tool selected, left click once on the video clip that you want to highlight, move your mouse cursor to the top half of the blue section so that the symbol with the rectangle with the two white triangles inside appears so that we can apply our slipping effect. Left click again on the selection and you should see that white selections are made around the entire video clip that you have. For the next part of the tutorial as I go into the trim edit mode in more detail I'm going to remove edits 1 2 and 4 so you can see clearly what I'm doing with the red and white containers around my third block. If I left click on this block here and press backspace I will do the same for the others. 
so that the red and white lines around this clip here are more clear now. If you make any mistakes at all, press Ctrl and Z to undo. Press Ctrl, Shift and Z to redo. Use Command instead of Control if you're a Mac user. Each time you make a cut like that within the red container on the timeline here, using the blade edit mode tool, you're actually creating duplicates of the whole video clip you started off with. Only content from this duplicate within the red container will show on your final cut. If I select the trim edit mode tool again, left click towards the top of the blue video file in slipping mode, The white sections represent the space and the position of the obscured remainder of your video clip on the timeline. Content within the white container that is outside of the red container will not be shown on your final video. The trim edit mode tool will enable a video editor to determine what video content from their file will be placed within the red container and therefore show on their final video. So here, for example, at the five second mark, you can see the dog coming in from the corridor. And the tool can be used to drag the video clip to the right or to the left in slipping mode. As you apply the slipping technique, a box appears next to your mouse cursor with a number, which is positive the further right I go or gets lower the further left you drag your video clip towards the start of your timeline. The earliest part of your video clip represented by the left side of your white container cannot be dragged beyond the start of your red container, as the red container must contain some video content and can't be left empty. The same applies when you are dragging the white container from the end of your video towards the beginning of your timeline. The right side of your white container cannot pass the right side of your red edit container. In this example, what I'm going to do is left click on the clip that I cut where the dog runs out from the corridor, drag the whole video container to the right by two seconds. As you can see, the whole white container has moved towards the right side, away from the beginning of the timeline. And in the preview window above your timeline, you can see the difference that this makes to the content within the red container. The bottom left image represents what was originally going to appear at the start of the red container at the five second mark. The bottom right picture represents the original ending within the red container at the seven second mark. In the top half, you can see what changes have been made. At the start of the red container at the five second mark now, since I've shifted the whole video clip to the right, you can see that at the five second mark, what we will now be presented with is what was originally at the three second mark, having moved the video clip forward by two seconds. And in the top right image, what will now appear at the seven second mark, which is the dog wandering in the corridor. This was shown in the original clip at the five second mark and will now be presented at the seven second mark. Let go of your left mouse button when your clip is in place. With the trim edit mode still selected, I'm now going to drag my mouse cursor down to the bottom part of the blue video selection so that my sliding feature appears with the square brackets with a white triangle on either side. When I left click on this red highlighted clip here, you should see that the white selection of the whole video clip which appears will now only stretch vertically over half of the blue and half of the green section to indicate that you are applying the sliding effect. And what this does, if I drag my mouse cursor to the right and the left, is that enables you this time 
to change the position on the timeline of your highlighted video clip here in red. Notice how segments of the original video clip are reproduced should you drag an edited clip away from its position. If I drag this video clip away from the 5 second mark and use my indicator to play the video clip from this section, you can see that the original clip of the dog running from the corridor into the room appears at the same moments just how it was in the original video. If I were to insert another video clip onto my timeline and use the trim edit mode to drag this clip of the dog over, you'll notice that this is not possible because I can't separate this segment from its original source. This edited video clip is broken down into one, two, three and four different sections. If I left click on the second block, trying to apply the sliding effect using the trim edit tool. As you can see here with the white markings, when I left click on the red section of the second block, I can only drag the red highlighted clip up to the boundaries of a neighboring block on either side. Notice how I cannot drag this over to the fourth block, which has a couple of cuts in between. Now for the dynamic trim mode. In slip mode, you can choose between slip and slide by right clicking on the tool and choosing from the menu which pops up. The indicator turns yellow. I have also reselected my trim edit mode tool and what I can do now using the J, K and L buttons is basically do slipping and sliding like we did previously. I'm currently holding in K and pressing L and as you can see in the preview box as I tap L I'm adjusting the 5 second mark of my video so that it shows an earlier part of the video clip before the dog was in the corridor. If I hold in K and instead of L press J then you can see in the preview that the 5 second mark will commence with part of the clip which originally appeared later on my timeline with the dog having already passed the video camera instead of being in the hallway. With the trim edit mode selected and the dynamic trim mode set to slide with a clip of the dog entering the room from the corridor I'm going to hold in K and I'm going to tap J and you can see that the clip is shifting to an earlier part of the timeline. If I tap L instead of J you can see that the clip is moving to a later section of the timeline. The selection mode tool can also be used to drag certain segments of your video clip to other points on your timeline manually also. So I'm going to left click on this clip of the dog running from the corridor and drag it over around the 22 second mark of my timeline. The selection mode tool can also be used to manipulate the duration of which an image file is placed on your timeline. So for example here I have imported a .png file with my selection mode selected. I'm going to go to one of the ends, left click hold my mouse button down and drag the file over and as you can see here it is increased in size along my timeline and will therefore be present in the video for a longer duration. You can also decrease the amount of time an image file is on just by dragging it back the other way so that the overall size of the edit is much smaller. The keyboard shortcuts are A for the selection mode, T for the trim edit mode, W for the dynamic trim mode and B for the blade edit mode. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel please like and subscribe, join me soon for another video, take care.